Hey y'all, I'm back with a DIY Project Life video, and this time I'm going to be cutting up my Project Life cards to show you some fun and simple ways to create ephemera for your spreads. So right now I'm just categorizing the cards, and I'm placing some cards that I want to cut up in one pile, and then some other cards that I want to use as my base in another pile. So I'll get to that here in a second. You guys will see my entire process of cutting these up and using them in my actual Project Life spread. So I'm going to use a variety of punches. I'm going to use some circle punches, square punches, butterfly, tab, ticket type label punch, and then um, some other various punches as well. I'm also going to use like just my scissors and fussy cut some things out, and then you could certainly use your trimmer if you wanted to as well. Um, so we all have those cards that are in our stash that we're not really sure what to do with. And so these are some of those cards because the icons are right in the center and I mostly use my Project Life cards as um, bases for my photo and then I decorate them. So, and then I like to add ephemera and embellishments on top. So I don't really use filler cards, but the problem with not using them is that, you know, they're just sitting in my stash when I would really like to use the cute icons that are on these filler cards. Like for instance, this ice cream cone, I love this. I love that icon, but um, that's right in the center. And since I don't really use filler cards, that would be covered up if I were to just use that as like a regular card. So I'm just kind of showing you how I'm cutting them up using my different punches and using the scissors. And then here's one of my favorites. I'm going to cut that bottom part off and then I'm going to use my tab punch and I'm I found that it worked perfectly. So you just kind of test out your punches if you have them. If not, you can use your scissors for really mostly any of these things. Um, if you're really good at cutting and, um, you know, fussy cutting or whatever, like you can use your, your scissors. So I'm just not, if I have my tools handy, I'm certainly going to use them. So I'm just kind of going through the different cards. And most of these cards are from the Fine and Dandy collection. And I chose that color scheme just because I think it's, super easy to use and match and I have a lot of things in my stash that are like light pinks and light blues and yellows and then I love the little pop of red that this adds and then I'm also I also chose this color this um these cards because they have a lot of the standard like little icons that a lot of the project life cards have on them and uh I have a ton of this collection in my stash so I wanted to kind of use those up so here's kind of a good example of me cutting up these cards that I really liked the, the part that said my fave. Um, that whole section was placed in the middle. So it said, I think this is my fave, which is a cute saying, but that would get covered up if I didn't use that as a filler card. So I cut it up and just kind of used my circle punch to cut the two cute little hearts out. Now I'm going to take these other punches and I'm just going to cut some random shapes out of these. So I chose these because they're small designs across the cards and so when you use your punches ever all like the full design will be easily shown and then um also just because they go with the collection so I kind of got an idea I have my punches sitting right to my left and I got the idea to use this uh border punch it's like the notebook punch I love that punch and you'll see how some of these um things you can just use as little extra touches on your pages and you'll see how that all kind of turns out for me here in a little bit um, I'm trying to think, oh, one of those cards was a pink brush card and it had, it had the word fun on it. And I just kind of cut it right up, um, and do like, I cut each letter out and I really love the way that turned out. And I do use that on my spread. I think I use it on, yeah, I do use it on this spread coming up that I'm, that you guys will see. So I'm just kind of showing you how I, uh, got those shapes and just the different ones that I cut out. And then now I'm going to start the process. So you'll see... Um, the second card there that has the butterfly punched out, I really love the way that that looks. So I'm actually going to use that as my, um, as one of my cards with the cutout shape, and I'm going to add some pattern paper underneath. These are those Alex stickers that I love, and I'm, I don't think I'm running out of them, but I didn't have another W, and that W that I did have was like ripped, so I ended up using it anyway. So I was like, I'm not wasting that. I wanted to use it for this particular layout, and I thought the pink went well with some of the other pinks. I did some typing on my typewriter before um, I started this process because I knew that I didn't want to do that during this because my, my typewriter is on the side of my desk, so I type off camera. So I went ahead and did that, and then I'm using, if you watch my latest DIY vellum pocket 
video, you would have seen how I made these little vellum shaker pockets. And I love the accent that that gave, the extra touch that they gave to this particular card. And like, I didn't really have to add a whole lot. I added my picture and I added a little tab, that little piece of ephemera that I made from the collection that says hello. And then I added um, a couple little punched um, flowers, the hydrangea punch from Martha Stewart. And I used that. I had punched those earlier in the video, as you saw. And then I'm using this that I punched a butterfly right out of. And then I'm just stacking it with some foam dots right on top of that patterned paper that has that black polka dot right underneath. And I think that black polka dot paper, paper is actually a Studio Calico card. And then I'm going to document Ava's first day of daycare um, right on that. This is the week. I think this is week 12. And so I was obviously home with her for several weeks. And then I started half days at this, this particular week. And so um, this was her first, like, day at daycare although she didn't stay the whole day but um I got a picture of her and her little daycare teacher so um I'm also documenting there that she is not sleeping in her swaddle anymore which I actually think that she had stopped sleeping in it before that so I'm not really quite sure what I was doing there but anyway I I got a picture of her in her cute little strawberry onesie and I was just loving that she was starting to sleep in those those pajamas and so of course I went crazy buying those and so I'm just using my little punches that I or my little pieces that I used and I didn't use any I, I can I think I can say this quite confidently I didn't use any other ephemera for my stash the only ephemera that I used was the ones that I cut out at the beginning of this video. So if that gives you guys some ideas, if you, th what's really cool is let's say that you have like a project life collection, like the um, cards, but you don't have any ephemera to go with them and you want to add like extra touches to your pages, you can, I would totally advise like, or suggest that you just use your own cards and cut your own ephemera because you can get like the same results and this is one of my favorite spreads and I didn't even pull, I didn't really pull a whole lot from my stash. Maybe like a couple of like wood veneer pieces, but as far as ephemera, I pretty much used what I cut. So let's see, just kind of using um, these cards, using these base cards. I'm kind of getting the, the kind of the alignment or how I want this all set up and there's the little the words that I cut out there that says fun I really wanted to use that dream today but I actually use it on an upcoming spread that I'll show a flip through of so I decided I really want to get a lot of these layouts done because you all don't know I put like a spinning breeze on myself until I was done with this album like I'm going to do it through um the, I'm on let's see this is the first week no 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 I think this is, I'm in September here. Yes, I'm in September here. So I think this is like September 8th or something or whatever, or September 7th. And um, I have to go through December. So I'm like seriously rushing to get this done because I'm like, I cannot buy anything until, well, at least like um, embellishments and papers and stuff like that. I put a spinning breeze on myself. So I'm totally trying to get this done. So I will be doing some album flip throughs because some of them I'll do off camera and then I'll, you'll, you guys will get to see like the results in a flip through, but most of the processes I will include on YouTube. So I use that word fun there and then I use the camera piece. And then if you saw me earlier, I cut like just a little border out just out of a piece of pattern that was super busy, but I didn't want to use the entire pattern. So what I did was I, place that down at the bottom of that second card right on, on the right the second like underneath the middle card on the right thank you there you go goodness I cannot talk this is like I don't know the umpteenth time I've tried to do this voiceover and it was it for some reason I was having like a hard time tonight um at the top card I put that I used that my fave banner but I kind of wanted to make it look like it was um just hanging you know from well I wanted it to be vertical, which I thought was kind of a cute. I've done that before, I think, on a different card. But I wanted to add another little banner underneath, so I did add, I did cut my own. And then I used another one of my little vellum pockets, which um, it said, the, I think it has kiss and it has a little cork heart. So I was kind of like 
totally doubting my usage of those little small vellum pockets that I made because I was like, goodness, those pockets are way small. Like I thought when I got that die, if you watched my vellum DIY vellum pocket video, I had mentioned that that die was so small. I did not realize it was going to be that small, but seriously, they're my favorite things on this spread. So I will be making more of those. Um, I'm going to add this little touch that I, I think those, um, typewriter letters are from Michael's from their little dollar spot and I love those so I use those quite a bit and I just I just put use VersaFine ink and put those right on um stamped them right onto that piece of wood veneer and then I'm going to kind of show you the spread just in full here and then it's going to go right to some close-ups so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you have any questions mm -hmm.